Hello everyone, welcome to this session. Our topic is for season equilibrium and today let's discuss about the types of uh, equilibrium. Uh, so far in our previous video, we are discussing about the moment of force. We saw the concept of force. Uh, I mean the concept of moment of force. Uh, we discussed also the principle of moments. Uh, that is the anticlockwise moment equals to a uh, clockwise moment. So today, let's move on to the uh the types of equilibrium uh but first we are going to see the condition for the equilibrium now we have to know that equilibrium this is simply the state of balance of a body so that state or the the condition whereby a body is in a way of balance is what we call the equilibrium a body is said to be balanced if its center of gravity is directly above the point of the support so the body is more stable uh, when its center of gravity is closer to its base and if it has uh, this wide base. So that's uh, all about the equilibrium. So equilibrium works out in a way that it shows uh, the state of balance of a given body. Now uh, it relates to the, uh, the center of gravity of a body. So this body is just said or is just put in balance if it's center of gravity. We, we also discussed the center of gravity in our previous video. So my body said to be to be in a balance if its center of gravity is directly above the point of uh, its support and also whereby when its support or its base is just basically wide. So the body is more stable in such a way whereby its center of gravity is closer to its base and it has a wide base. Now the body uh, in motion while in equilibrium uh, state is what we call the dynamic equilibrium. So equilibrium that is in motion uh, is what we call the dynamic equilibrium, while a body in state of rest while uh, in equilibrium is under the static equilibrium. So from there you can differentiate between the dynamic equilibrium and the static equilibrium. While the one which is rotating but still in equilibrium is said to be under the rotational equilibrium. So from there you can get these uh, three types of equilibrium uh, related to motion. That is uh, the body uh, when it's in motion is what we call the dynamic equilibrium. Uh, that equilibrium state and when the body is in rest, that equilibrium state is what we call the static equilibrium. And the kind of equilibrium when a body is in rotation is what we call the rotational equilibrium. I hope it's clear. Now, let's see the other three types of the equilibrium. Uh, there are these three types of equilibrium, namely the stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and the neutral equilibrium. So all these three are just the main uh, three types of the equilibrium. Now let's discuss each one of them, starting with the stable equilibrium. A body is said to be in stable equilibrium. Uh, if it's given with the small displacement, uh, the center of gravity will be raised and the body returns to its original position after displacement. So stable equilibrium simply states that uh, a body just is in a condition of stability uh, maybe when it is raised or just moved a little bit, but it returns to its original position after that kind of displacement uh, without crumbling. So that's what is stable equilibrium. And when you talk about the unstable equilibrium, a body is said to be in an unstable equilibrium if when given a small displacement, the center of gravity will be lowered and the body does not return to its original position after displacement. So unstable equilibrium is just a reverse to stable equilibrium, whereby in this unstable equilibrium, a body is just uh, changing, the body just changes uh, its original uh, position after maybe a simple displacement, whereby the center of gravity will be lowered and the body just cannot resume to its original position after that kind of displacement. So that's unstable equilibrium. And when we talk about the neutral equilibrium, a body is said to be in, a, in this neutral equilibrium, just when a, a small displacement doesn't alter the position of the center of gravity, the body is, an, is at least in whichever position it is placed. So 
in when you're talking about neutral equilibrium is that uh there's no any effect uh that can be observed due to the uh small displacement that can be uh uh just that can be put to a body so it the that kind of any displacement just yes, does not alter the position of the center of gravity thereby the body just yes, remains uh at least in a, whatever position it is placed take an example loading uh, this a sphere or a barrel. So here are uh, just these three types of equilibrium as you, you can just see, see from the diagram. When you are talking about the stable equilibrium, like from here, maybe if you rotate this triangle to this side, the body will just remain in uh, stability since that uh, there will be displacement from, from its uh, original position but it will return to the position of stability uh, after just lowering the, the center of gravity. But when you, we see this unstable equilibrium here, it means that when you rotate this body, uh, the body just not return to its original uh, position. As you can see, uh, you are trying to alter the position of this uh, triangle. So this triangle will just fall in the other side and yes it will not return to its original position but when you see here the neutral equilibrium it's like rolling this sphere when you are trying to roll this sphere yes the center of gravity remains at its original position and it does not change uh whatever rotation it may occur to this sphere so there is no possible change of uh, the stability of the body. So this is what we call the neutral equilibrium. I hope it's clear all these three types of equilibrium. Now, let's see this soft example as uh, one which we are going to uh, make a close up to this topic, the uh, uh, forces in equilibrium. So uh, the moment of force about a point is uh, a uh, 120 newton meter. Now, if the magnitude of the force is uh, 5,600 newton, now find the perpendicular distance between the point in the line of action of the force. So here's our solution. Uh, basically, you can see this just simple illustration of what is happening or just what uh, this example can mean in this uh, diagram. As you can see here, uh, this this kind of uh, the magnitude of force that is applied here, and we are required to find the uh, the distance, the perpendicular distance between the point of action uh, uh, and the line of action of the force. And here is a uh, Falcom or pivot, and yes, we, here is just kept like constant. So we are just required to find the distance uh, of here. Now we have to know that uh, moment equals to force times perpendicular distance. Now we are required to find the perpendicular distance. So we'll make this perpendicular distance as the subject. So basically we are going to divide by force both sides. Uh, so if you divide by force here and divide by force here, the force uh, from this, the other side of the equal sign will be cancelled out. So the perpendicular distance will be equal to the moment of force uh, you divide by the force. So basically it will be equal to 1,120 this Newton meter you divide by the uh, new, by the magnitude of the force which we are given here that is 5,600 Newton. So if you divide you get the answer that is 0 0.2 meter. So the perpendicular distance is 2 meter. So the perpendicular distance between the point and the line of action of the force uh, which is this related as x is 0 0.2 meter. So I hope it's clear, guys. Thank you for listening. We've discussed the, the uh, equilibrium. We've seen the concept of equilibrium. We've seen the various types of equilibrium, which are stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, and neutral equilibrium. And we've seen uh, one valid uh, solved example. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening.